Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and this video is especially for Louis Riviera of Classic Rock 109 wants to know how to put a voiceover over a music bed without needing to duck the music bed. Well, just for you and anyone else watching, I've created this tutorial. This is fantastic. It's a, a piece of trance music. It's rather loud. So first of all, let's go into favorites and normalize it to make sure it's not clipping at all. And that looks okay. Let's play you a little sample of it so you can hear here. That's where the synth comes in and the beat drops in around here. A really loud beat. That's gonna be hard to cut across. So I'm gonna start a brand new file and I'm gonna record a voiceover. Playing the best trance beats. And as you can see, nothing recorded. Gotta always make sure you set up your audio channel mapping correctly. Uh, and I need uh, Sapphire Input 3, not 1, because that's my Heil microphone uh, that I'm not using today. So we'll close that window and start a brand new file, like so, and record. Playing the best trance beats. This is Trance FM. Okay, so there's my voiceover, and it's gonna be pretty difficult to cut that over the music. In fact, the music's gonna completely drown it out. But let's go to the multi-track and create a new session called Music and Voice. There we go. Right, so if I drag my voiceover in here and play it back, now on my default template that I use, this is a template I use all the time, I have actually got some presets, quite a few presets on there. de Scientific Filter, Dynamics Processing, Speech Volume Level, uh, Hard Limiting, and Parametric Equalizer. That's a lot of presets, right? That's what I use on a regular basis. So I've switched them all off, and now you'll hear the raw voice. Playing the best trance beats. This is Trance FM. Okay, now I'm going to drag this uh, trance bed into music, which again is a track with absolutely no effects in the effects rack, so I'm not doing any processing here. And you'll notice uh, if I drag it over here, uh, match it up with the beat, the first beat there of the trance song, uh, if I play it at this current state, you just won't hear the voiceover at all. Completely drowned out by the music. Now what I can do is I can drag the music down a little bit uh, by about 6 dB, you might be able to hear the voice now. Playing the best Still completely drowned out by the music. So what I'm going to do now is, first of all, beef up the voiceover a little bit. If I play Playing it... Playing the best trance beat. You'll notice on the level there I'm peaking at about uh, minus 10, and I think I could do a better job than that uh, by adding in a bit of dynamics processing. So here's my dynamics processing preset. Playing the best trance beats. That brings it down to minus 14, so I'm kind of crushing the voice down a little bit. Uh, then what I might want to do is use the speech volume leveler, and uh, obviously I'm not going to show you these presets in detail. I'll go into detail on these if you'd like to know about it in a future video. Just leave me a comment to let me know, yes, Mike, I'd like to know your speech volume leveler preset, or your dynamics processing preset. Uh, I have changed them uh, a little bit and refined them and moved them on since uh, previous videos I've recorded uh, in the previous years. So if you'd like to see new videos, do let me know. Playing the best trance beat. Now, as you can see, that speech volume level is fantastic. It's bringing it up to minus four dB for me now, which is looking brilliant. I might just do a bit of hard limiting. Playing the best trance beat. That's a, a very hard minus six dB right now. And as you can see, I ducked the music to minus six dB. Let's see how it's sounding now with just those presets. Playing the best trance. Already much easier to hear the voice over the music, but still, if I wanted it really to be heard, I would have to duck that music bed, and that's not what Louis asked in his question. He said, how can I get a voiceover to cut across a music bed without ducking the music bed? So I'm gonna show you. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna turn down the music bed by maybe another dB. Playing the best. And maybe another dB. Playing the best. Couple of dBs, actually. Playing the best. Right, you start to really hear the voice over the music bed, at least, I hope you do. So now I am going to go in and just see what other effects I've got here. I've got a parametric equalizer here. We can have a look at this one if you like. Uh, it's got a bit of a, a low bass roll off and a bit of a high boost there. It might actually help my voice to sound better. So I'm going to add that in. Listen to the voice on solo. Playing the best trance beats. Now remember we started off like this, playing the best trance beats. And by adding in those four presets that I've designed, playing the best trance beats, you get an amazingly uh, kind of crushed imaging voiceover, if you like, uh, which I'm really uh, enjoying. So now, uh, the icing on the cake 
or the cherry on top. This is uh, the bit that Lewis uh, and I'm sure a lot of other viewers would really like to know. This is how you make a voiceover cut across a music bed without doing any ducking. And it's a fantastic uh, thing that is so easy to do in the very latest edition of Adobe Audition CC, as this feature I'm about to show you was only just bought in in I think the last uh, update or two, uh, 10.1, Adobe Audition 10.1. So unfortunately, if you're using previous Adobe Audition like CS6, CS5.5, or even Adobe Audition CC 2015, you won't have access to this feature, but I absolutely love this feature. Let me show you how it works. First of all, I'm going to delete the pitch shifter from my voiceover track because I don't need a pitch shifter on my voice. And I'm going, even though it was disabled, uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use one of the lovely filter and EQs. And I think the best EQ for the job here uh, to answer your question, how to cut voice across music uh, without ducking is the FFT filter. Now, I'm going to bring this over here. This is my voiceover EQ playing. And let's solo my voice playing the best trance beats. So that's a fantastic uh, feature in Adobe Audition CC, the very latest version. You get a lovely graphical equalizer of how your voice looks playing the best trance beats. So immediately I can see the most prominent frequencies in my voice. Let's do the same for the music bed now. Let's add in the FFT filter down here and let's go to filter and EQ FFT filter. And again, I can monitor over here. This is going to be my music bed. So let's switch off this and solo the music track. Now, if you compare these side by side, music there, voice there, you'll see that the music is definitely competing a lot with the voice. So our aim uh, by the end of this tutorial is to have taken out the frequencies from the music that compete with a voiceover so that then the voice can cut across that music without any ducking. So you notice, first of all, 100 Hertz uh, is a very prominent frequency in my voiceover and in the music bed. Let's play more. Again, there's a lot of 300 to 400 there. Very bassy voice. Uh, so again, you'll see. Yeah, there's interference there in 300 and 400. Uh, around the 1K mark. Yeah, there's more interference and you can see 1K and also 2K to 4K uh, has a bit of interference. So you want to do your analysis. Now, there is a way you can do this in previous versions of Adobe Audition. If you go into window and you bring up the frequency analysis window, it's going to allow you to see the same kind of stuff, but just not not as easy and intuitive as you can now with these real-time displays uh, for all of the presets like for compression and uh, EQ. Uh, but let me show you how that works. But as you can see, it just doesn't look as good and as easy. I mean, you can drag the, you can pop the window out if you want and, uh, and drop it somewhere, well, right in the center. Uh, and you can see all those squiggly EQs. But I just think the, the new way they've implemented it in the latest version of Adobe Audition CC just looks a whole ton better. So I'm actually going to get rid of frequency analysis, close that panel, go back into my music and voice. And now I'm going to do a bit of magic. So um, first of all, with a voice, let's solo that and play it back to you. As you can see, the under 100 hertz, there's hardly anything there. There's just a bit of bass rumble. And ideally, we don't really want to keep bass rumble in the voiceover because it's just it's ridiculous. It's probably just you knocking your microphone or the, the computer humming or your fan going or your fridge. So uh, I'm immediately going to uh, I'm not going to be so aggressive because, as you can see, a bit of 100 is where my voice is. So I'm going to go down to about 70 hertz and I'm going to kill all that. Let's just kill anything below 70 hertz. See whether it damages my voice. Let's listen. Playing the best trance beats. And then I'm just going to take that FFT filter off my voice so you can hear what it sounds like if the 70 hertz were there. Playing the best trance. So as you can hear, really not much difference. I haven't done much damage, but I have reduced a lot of rumble. Now, uh, 100 hertz is an offending frequency in the music. So over here, left hand side, that's my music bed. I am going to paint in two little edit points there and a third one in the middle. And I'm, I'm literally, you see where that's going up here on the frequency display? I'm going to drag that down the same amount on the FFT filter. Let's see how that affects things already by bringing out the one around the 100 hertz frequency. In fact, it's around it's around 150 hertz I'm reducing from the music bed. Playing the best trance beats. Now, I think you'll agree that already you're starting to hear uh, a difference and you're starting to hear the voice cutting across. This is without any ducking on the music bed. This is just equalization reduction uh, to make voice basically cut across like a razor on your music bed. So let's see other offending frequencies I can scrub through. Beat, beat, beat. Okay. Uh, beat, yeah. beats, beats. 
So around 200 to 300 and 300 to 400, I've got more stuff going on with my voice. And again, you can see over here, left-hand panel. Uh, yeah, I've definitely got some spikes there. So I'm going to get rid of those spikes now on the music bed. Those nasty spikes that are obliterating my voiceover. And I'm literally doing it in parallel here with the uh, real-time frequency display. Brand new feature in the latest version of Audition, which I am just loving, by the way. Now, let's do that. Paint in another one here. Oh, it's quite hard to get a dot in there. Right, there we go. That's kind of over there a little bit. Let's move it over a bit. There we go. Get out all those annoying little frequencies. How do we sound now? Playing the best trance beats. This is Trance FM. How does that sound to your ear now? I, I think it sounds a whole lot better. Remember, this is how we started. Let's take the FFT filter off me and the FFT filter off the music and we'll compare like for like. So this is without any filtering. Playing the best trance beats. And now let's add the filtering in. And listen. Playing the best trance beats. This is Trance FM. So as you can hear, I'm adding FFT filter and taking it off in real time there to show you a little bit of the difference. If I really want to, to go quite aggressive on this, what I might do is I might increase around the, the 1K uh, to 3K just a little bit in my voiceover, maybe by 3 dB, and I might actually take this down. Now, audio pros are probably going to watch this video and they're going to say, yeah, Mike, you're saying you're not fading the music down or ducking the music, but you're ducking EQ, so it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Well, in a way, yes, I'm ducking certain frequencies, so I am ducking certain bits out, but it's, I think what Louis was getting at at the start of this video is how can I do this without having to automatically duck up and down? And by ducking certain frequencies of EQ out, it means you slice across the music without having to worry about, you know, going into the mixer panel and just moving that fader up and down. So uh, let's have a listen. Now I've taken some mid range out of the music bed and added it to my voice. Playing the best trance beats. This is Trance FM. And now I think you'll agree we have a good balance of voice and music. It's starting to sound really good. I could probably go on and on and speak now and create more voiceover and I wouldn't have to worry about the music competing with my voice because I'm using FFT filter on the music, FFT filter on the voiceover. I'm reducing those annoying frequencies in the music. I'm increasing something that is complementary in my voice. I'm ducking off bass rumble. I can also take off anything anything up here in the in, in the treble if I wanted as well to get rid of any whiny noises in my voice and um, yeah that's pretty much it oh the the last thing I should show you is of course I've got uh, four other presets going on here as well parametric EQ hard limiter speech volume leveler dynamics processing don't want to go into that in this video but if you'd like to see videos about those presets how I set them up and how I get my voice nice and fat and big in 2017 and beyond uh, then do leave me a comment on this video and let me know you'd like to see the video and let me know which one you'd like to see first so I can prioritize for you but that is how you get voiceover to cut across music without ducking go and try it yourself and let me know how you get on